when they make a mistake, we just okay. uh, attack their mistake. All right, you gave your teammate a nice little love tap right there. It's good to give high five. How's everyone doing today? My name is Swayze, and I am back with another episode of Rocket League Decision Making. Today, I am here with Filthy, Filthy Iglesias. F.I. How are you doing, brother? Doing great. Nice. As we jump into this right here, first question, the one that everyone wants to know, how many hours of Rocket League have you played? I have nine days and ten hours of Rocket League. That's somewhere, somewhere around 200 hours, give or take. I'm up for this. About so. Nice. Are you happy with uh with nine days of playtime? Every chance I get to play Rocket League is a more than wonderful time to be. Hey, that's fair. That is fair. So as we uh continue to develop this player profile, ooh, that's close. That hurts. Um. Uh, do, do you do you play competitive? Yes, uh, I love playing competitive, especially when uh, my friends. Okay. Okay. Ooh, what a save! Um, now when you do play competitive, what uh, what kind of ranks do you normally have? Like, what's your highest rank? Uh, the highest I've ever gotten is plat three, but I'm looking forward to changing that this season. Okay. All right. And, and you're at plat two right now. You're right on that verge, correct? Yes. What do you think it would take for you to get to plat three? Just, just me asking you right now. Just having fun. Playing more defensively. Okay. Not going for the ball when I don't have to. All right. Now, out of the different game modes, ones, twos, threes, maybe, maybe you're the one crazy person that enjoys fours. What uh, what what's your favorite game mode? I'd say triple. Okay. Is there any certain reason why you you like threes the most? It's good knowing that someone's gonna be watching the goal as <laughs> you and someone else are trying to pass the ball up ahead. It is amazing how many people feel that way. Now, three minutes left to go. Nice little touch over me. He's got that in. That's a good move by him. Before you start playing competitive, do you ever warm up? Sometimes I just feel like jumping right into it. Sometimes it's good to get a game or two going. Okay. So if you do warm up, is it free play? Is it training packs? Is it uh, just casual games? Uh, I like going into casual. Okay. Break, uh, break the fucking uh, controller in a bit. Okay. Do you uh now? Do you ever do free play? Sometimes when I'm bored, I do free play. Okay. What about training packs? Very, like, uh, like d does that ever uh, cross yeah, your mind? Definitely. Is there like certain ones that stick out? I definitely enjoy doing the goalkeeper one. Okay. All right. Hey, that's fair. They might uh they might tie this up right here. That's all right though. Obese priest trying to make this game interesting. Now this is where the questions get hard, filthy Iglesias. I'm gonna ask you. Do you feel like you have a certain style to your play? Are you an attacker? Are you a defender? Do you like kind of being in the middle? Are you all over the place? What just like what fits you? I say a bit of everything. Okay. But I definitely like being in the middle of the play. Trying to defend and attack at the same time, you know. Do what okay. I can. Now, with that in mind, do you feel like you have a, a certain strength to your game? What do you think you do best? I'd say pass the ball. 
Okay. Now, the flip side of that, I have no idea how that went in. I wasn't even looking at it. I won't lie. <laughs> now, the flip side of that is, what do you think your biggest weakness is in your game? Like, what can you most improve on? Definitely aerials. Um, I was somewhat decent before I stopped playing Rocket League for a long time. But since I got back, I just can't get back to aerials as much as I was able to. Okay, now, you normally I kind of get into this later on in, in videos, but is there a certain, like, what was the reason that you had to take some time off? Uh, mainly work. <laughs> but, I mean, um, you don't have you don't have to be that mild. Like, what it what what is work? Um. Well, I'm in the military, so sometimes I just can't be playing games, and I have to be training. So just sometimes duty calls, and you uh you, you just have to take off. Yes. All right. Hey, that's fair. While you are home, though. Knowing your biggest weakness, your biggest strength, all that information. What, um, like, do, do you ever watch any, like, tips or tricks videos or anything like that? What, like, what do you do to improve? Anything specifically? Uh, I like to watch, um, some type of tutorials. Sometimes I just go into the training and do some of the shooting or goalkeeping. Something that will actually let you learn. Although watching videos can give you some tips, okay. it's not as good as doing it yourself. Now, with that, I'm out of boost. So I'm, I'm just gonna say challenge that. Um, like, it, do you ever watch pros do this? Yes, uh, I like to watch the the tournaments they have. Okay. The esports uh, live ones. Uh, I say you can learn a lot from them, even now, though they're just doing tricks most of the time. <laughs> Alright, isn't that the truth? Now, is there uh, something, like, if you, if you watch the pros, do you, do you, like, after, do you feel like you automatically play better? I say it takes some time to master what they do. Okay. But you can definitely take note from what they've learned and improve. I always feel like my uh, my rotations are a little bit better. Close this game out. Just uh, just kind of walk me through. What's your mindset? You know, thirty seconds into overtime. Well, like, how are, are you playing more defensively? Or are you playing kind of up? Like, like, do you want the goal? Um. Or do you want to be careful? Definitely get nervous around these times, so I try to be more careful when attacking. Okay, now do you feel like you thrive in these situations, or, or does the nerves maybe maybe get you a little bit? I'd say most of the time I thrive. Okay. There are some moments where I will say I freeze. We're gonna, we're gonna call those fakes. Killer, killer instinct. So, anything you want to say before we cut away for the second part right here? I'll, I'll let you say whatever you want to say. No matter how bad you are, you can always improve and hope to be the next champion. All right, hey, that's unbelievably well said. So next time anyone is hearing our voices, we're going to be looking at three to five key moments that happened into this game. Who knows, we might even pick an extra one just because of the overtime. I think it ended pretty well. We'll be right back. How's it going, everyone? We are back. Second part with uh, Filthy Iglesias. Filthy, anything you want to say before we kick off right here? You know, it's good to come back after a busy day and just, you know, relax and get some Rocket League moments. Perfect. I'm going to ask you, how much of this game do you remember? Probably not that much at all, other than the, t other than the fact that we went overtime. Okay. I do remember that. Do you remember who scored that final overtime goal? Uh, I would like to say it was you. It, yo, your, your memory is a little hazy right now, but that's all right. That's the whole point of Rocket League decision-making. Price OG with a nice little 
shot over you. Unfortunately, that's going to go post out. And then our first moment's going to come up here in a little bit. Okay, key moment number one coming up right about now. Quick miss, but I see two guys in front of you, and I see you with six boost. F.I. Filthy, my buddy. What are you thinking in this situation? Goal in, you know. Okay. Are you... Try to stop him. Are you... are Like, is your goal like, hey, I need boost in this scenario? Or are you thinking more than that? When I went up, I was just thinking, if I can block them with no boost, then I know for a fact you'll have boost and you'll just sneak behind them. Okay. Let's watch a little bit longer. We're going to see you with a demo there. Is that quote-unquote calculated? Yeah, if, uh, if it's for the boost, I got to go for it. All right, perfect. So that, that might be an easy question, easy part two. Are you happy with that outcome? Yes, yeah, very happy. It's good to hear. So this is actually our next moment right now. Ball's back in the middle. We're going to see you cut across. What's going through your mind right now? I was trying to put it over that uh, defender that's in front of the ball. Okay. And hopefully pass it to you. Do you remember what happens? Uh, I think it hits the wall, and then we get a clear shot. I'm not too sure about that. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to stop asking you that question because let's play this out. It's going to go right across your teammate. It's a hell of a pass, and we're going to go up 2-1. It seems like that might not have been uh, exactly what you were going for in that situation. Um but again, that's kind of the whole point of this series is to see how these different decisions could work out, good or bad. Are you happy with with that pass to the middle, or do you kind of wish that you took it off the wall and maybe solo played it a little bit? Um, uh, definitely glad that I passed it to you. I probably have seen you there, and now that I look back, I didn't think that you would have made it if I would have passed it. Fantastic. So actually what we're going to do real quick is we're going to backtrack just because... Key moment number three happens pretty quickly, to be completely honest, after key moment number two. We're going to see you grab some boost. This ball is going to clear. It looks like you're going to hit it over to your teammate. I want to know what's going through your mind right now. It seems that you, you have the teammate in front of you. You clear that ball. Let's watch a little bit longer. What are you thinking in this scenario? Uh, right now, since I've played with you for a while, I was thinking that you were going to pass it to the middle. Okay. So I was hoping to go for aerial or just a clear shot. Now, the reason I ask is, is this is a little bit more nuanced now that we're in episode nine. But are you happy with your positioning in the scenario? Do you do you wish you were somewhere else? Like, like take in the whole picture and tell me what you're thinking. Um, looking back right here right now, I say that it would have been better off if I was closer to the middle. Okay. But I don't mind coming in from the side to the middle. Perfect. Let's, I try to get the ball before them. Let's watch this out. Let's see what happens. And I'll ask you, are you happy with how that played out right there? Are you are you good going for that 50-50? Yes. It's a high risk, high reward. Okay. But obviously it didn't work out that time. Tell me, on kickoff, what's going through your mind? Like, do you have a strategy? Or are you just hoping for the best? I'm hoping for the best, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> I'm probably going to try to learn a few tricks on kickoff. Okay. Do you, do you think you're ever going to put in the time to learn that fast kickoff? I, not when we're working hours, but uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll take some time. All right. That's fine. As you mentioned in the first part of the video, sometimes duty calls and, and you're away for a few weeks at a time, maybe maybe even more. Definitely. But when I do come back, you know, it's fun to kick back with friends. It's all about that grind. Nice little roll up through there. That's going to be a, a pretty good save, to be completely honest. With with 20 seconds to go, are you worried or are you, you know, are you are you feeling confident right now? You always got to expect the worst, okay. especially the last couple seconds, because we can definitely score in the last few. Expect the worst. That's exactly what it is. This is key moment number four. I have written down save attempt do you remember what happens here i know you said uh, overtime unfortunately that's think, the spoiler i think i'm going first and i miss okay i'm gonna ask you right here 
Do you think you could get to that ball? Like looking at it right now, do you, do you think, hey, maybe I could get there with 44 boost and, and a dream? If I would have pressed boost faster, I probably would have. Okay. Do you think next time the scenario happens, hey, maybe, maybe it'll it'll work out a little bit more fortunate? They they are gonna put it in right there. It's close though. It is. Yeah, it definitely happens. I don't wanna say a lot, but some of those are blockable. Hey, that's that's totally fine. I'd ask you if it worked out the way that you wanted to, but I think we all know that conversation. What is going to happen? That ball's going to go up. Ball's going to go over. That's not on, though. Overtime it is. Key moment number five, just due to the length of this match, is going to come about 40 seconds into overtime. Key moment number five. This ball, I'm going to back up just a little bit just to kind of show what's going on. This ball is going to go up right here. And I want to know what's going through your mind in that scenario. Ball in the air. Uh, let me even play it out just a little bit longer because ball's in the air and I see you with 11 boost and, and you're headed off for boost. Is that a conscious decision? Are you? Is it, uh, is it boost over everything? Or do, do, do you believe that maybe your teammate might be? Like, what are you thinking right now? Uh, definitely think that you probably go for it. Um, times like that when the ball goes up really slowly. Noticing that the first attacker went behind me, uh, definitely needed some boost. So definitely backtracking to see if the ball bounces uh, on the ground or if you hit it, waiting for that rebound, see what happens. Okay, let's play it out a little bit. That ball is going to go up. Unfortunately, you're going to miss that side boost. There is a shot on target. Your teammate is there. Did it work out the way that you wanted? Do you think that you could have done anything different? thinking about your own decisions here or, or is that okay i think that was okay it was more of a defensive move since if they missed it we could have attacked and if they attacked i was already backtracking so it would have been okay okay i'll be completely honest my decision making would have been different that's just one that i wanted to know kind of explain to the anyone that's watching hey we all do think differently right but that's okay because the way this game ends is favorable for us. Over here, cue in the Titanic music. Balls coming down, teammate fakes. Right now, what's going through your mind? Um, trying to control the ball. I see that you went to the left. Um, no, don't know if you have boost or not, but sometimes I'll pass it and sometimes I'll just go for the shot. Let's take a look what you do. There it is. Slotted by two defenders. Um, it was a very hard match towards the end. Um, definitely well <laughs> fought by both teams. But I think we we came up rightfully in the end. Always a modest man. Now this is where it gets interesting. You just watched a replay back. It's been about a week, maybe a week and a half since we played this game. Looking at these things, let me ask you question number one. Would you change anything? I think not. Um, I would just have to improve more defensively, but other than that, okay. probably stay the same. Well, you say maybe improve more offensively, defensively. What What do you think is the next step for you as, as a plat two push and plat three player? Um, trying more aerials. Okay. Uh, we saw the ball go up plenty of times. I didn't go up for them. Uh, I don't even think I went up for it in this video, but... I I'll, I think I remember one time. I'll be honest. I think that's going to be a great thing to work on. Here we go. Number two. Overall, are you happy with the outcome of this game? Are you happy with the outcome of how you played in this game? Yes and no, because we definitely had a lot of chances that we could have taken. And I think I didn't use all the chances that we had. And... It's always time for improvement, so I'd say I'm not happy. Okay, uh, and I think that is the mentality of a winner. That's the mentality of someone who always wants to get better. So a big thank you to you. Is there anything you want to talk about before we take off? You're going to tell anyone to join um, the Army? Definitely not. <laughs> Do not. <laughs> it's, uh, it's an acquired uh, <laughs> taste. It's only for some people. It really is. Anything you want to say? 
always had to have some time to improve, even if it's tough. You know, you always want to get better. You know, it sucks to lose, but you can always learn from losing. Fantastic. It's almost like you're promoting Rocket League decision making. On that note, we're going to cut away. Last thing I'm going to tell everyone is my final thoughts. Episode 9 has come and nearly gone. Filthy Iglesias was a great guy to play with. Not only does he strive to get better, but he also serves to make our country get better. And we shan't forget about all of those people. My three takeaways for this. Number one, aerials are a major step to getting to the higher ranks. Practice them in free play. Just fly your car around, have some fun with it, get comfortable in the air. Number two, take advantage of any demos that present themselves. It seems to be a reoccurring theme throughout the episodes. If you can take someone out of the play, make sure to do so. Number three, learn to find people who play well with you. Filthy and I met randomly in some lobby a few months ago, and we've had good chemistry ever since. If you do find someone, give it a shot, see if you can hook up and play a few games together. If you enjoyed the series, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for many more episodes to come, and anything down below we'll talk about. Take care.